Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am here to finally talk about some Swiss Arabian perfumes. So I have gotten a lot of requests to do a video on the House of Swiss Arabian, and I feel like I have enough perfumes here now that I can, obviously I can't do it like a full house review because I've not smelled um, probably even a tenth of what they offer, but I do have four different fragrances here, and then one I can talk about, but I've already sold it because it was uh, way too masculine for me, but I can still kind of talk about it for you. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got two here that I ordered off of Amazon, uh, one that I ordered from Fragrance X, and then I also have a decant here that I ordered um, of one that I really wanted to smell. So. The first one we're going to talk about is the one that I have had the longest and I have the most experience with, and that is called Layali. So this is a really, really beautiful fragrance. Um, this bottle is stunning. It's very Middle Eastern looking. Um, it's got a lot of enamel on it and a lot of gold and rhinestones. It's just a really, really beautiful um, bottle with this really pretty kind of iridescent crystal on the top. Um, just really pretty and this fragrance is so stunning now this fragrance and I often am asked about um, what a good fragrance would be to start out with if you're just starting to kind of get into oud or if you don't know what oud smells like and you're a little worried um, that you're not gonna like it this would be the perfect beginner fragrance for that um, the oud in this is so, so light and it is blended so well that it's almost undetectable. It's not uh, strong, it's not overpowering, it's not taking like center stage in this fragrance. It's just really, really beautiful and, and this is so beautifully blended. So the notes in this are plum, orange blossom, black currant, ylang ylang, rose, jasmine, oud, and amber. And this to me is a very sweet, beautiful, almost like a clean laundry type scent. You really get the sweetness from the fruits, from the plum, and from the black currant. You get a little tiny bit of oud, but it's way, way in the background. And you just really get this overall really beautiful, sweet, clean fragrance. I love this. This lasts on my skin absolutely forever. Um, you do not need a lot of this at all, and it will take you throughout the entire day. It's just a really, really beautiful, feminine, floral, sweet, yummy fragrance that I think a lot of people would enjoy. Also a great uh, oud beginning, beginner's fragrance, I should say. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is one that my lovely Instagram friend uh, mentioned to me. She told me that she had gotten it off of Amazon and that she adored it. It was like her new favorite fragrance, so I, of course, had to get my hands on it. And it is called Casablanca. So this is stunning, guys. This is... This was $41 for this huge bottle. This is a three... Let's see here. Yep, 3.4 ounce bottle and it was $41. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is this is an oud fragrance that I would say if you're kind of an intermediate oud lover, you would really like this. The oud is much more um, detectable. It's much stronger in this fragrance. This is a sweet kind of gourmand oud. It's so, so stunning. So the fragrances in this, sorry, fragrances, the notes in this are apple, grape, patchouli, iris, white woods, musk, amber, caramel, suede, and peru balsam. So oh, you really, you get the, the oud and the caramel. There's that really beautiful brightness in the top from the apple. This is just stunning, and that's almost what it smells like. It almost smells like an oudy caramel apple. It smells stunning. 
this is beautiful on the skin. This takes you on such a beautiful journey. You get the really bright, crisp apple in the uh, in the initial spray, and then it dries down to that beautiful, like oody, caramel goodness in the base. It's just stunning. I love this one. This is one that also um, gets like the it gets stronger the longer you wear it so i just i can't say enough good things about that fragrance and i'm so happy and so thankful to my beautiful instagram friend who turned me on to this fragrance because i love it so much so it did come with this little um this little well not not very little it's a, a, a quite a long um, little insert showing all of their different fragrances so and I do believe that you can order it directly from Swiss Arabian's website as well I do believe they ship to the States now so um, that's really exciting okay the next one I have to share with you is called Florence now this was one I came across this on Amazon when I was looking for the Casablanca and I could not make up my mind as to which one to pick up, so I went ahead and picked them both up. This was also um, described as, I, I believe described as being a gourmand. Um, so, oh gosh. This, this reminds me a whole lot of Oud Bouquet. This reminds me of what I wanted Oud Bouquet to be for me. Um, Oud Bouquet ended up being, the Oud in it was so, so overpowering in my bottle that I couldn't smell anything else. I couldn't smell rose. I couldn't smell the praline. Um, I really got nothing else but this very, very overpowering strong oud that ended up smelling like burnt rubber on my skin. It was just a total fail for me. I was really sad because I know that everybody loves that perfume, but it just didn't work for me. This, however, is what I wanted Oud Bouquet to be. So this is bergamot, lemon, rose, vanilla, praline, woods, and oud. And this is stunning. You can smell everything in this. You can smell the gorgeous rose, which is probably the most dominant scent in it, or most dominant note in it. You can smell the rose. You can smell the praline. You can smell the oud. This is stunning. Like I say, this is everything that I wanted Oud Bouquet to be. And if you were like me and you struggled with Oud Bouquet, definitely give this one a try because this to me is much more wearable. It's, uh, it's just easier to wear. It's a little bit more gentle. Oh, it's just stunning. It's so well blended. You can smell all the notes, but t it's, they're just in such harmony together. I just love it. I'm so, so happy I picked that one up as well. And then the next one we're going to talk about is actually one that I have heard is the closest dupe to Oud Bouquet that you can get. And that is um, this one here, Swiss Arabian. I'm going to butcher this. I just know it and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry up front. Uh, Sh Shaghaf Oud. So I have heard multiple people say that this is like the closest thing that you can find to Oud Bouquet and this is so so affordable I've seen bottles of this um, I think I saw it on Amazon for like $33 for a big bottle too and this is stunning this again is one of those when I first smelled it I was like oh my gosh that's everything that I wanted Oud Bouquet to be but just wasn't on my skin and I absolutely adore this fragrance okay so this is uh, saffron rose oud praline and vanilla and this one is a little bit more simple smelling than the Florence um, this one and my little de decant keeps leaking everywhere but this one oh gosh you get the rose and the oud those are the two most prominent notes and they're a little bit more uh, or they're a little bit less sweet in this one as they are in Florence. So if you're looking for like a sweeter, um, a sweeter kind of rose oud fragrance, I would definitely go with the Florence. If you're looking for more of a literal rose and oud combination that isn't weighed down with a lot of sweetness, this would be the perfect uh, 
option for you. So this again is Shaghaf Oud and it's stunning. Um, so overall, I have been nothing but impressed with Swiss Arabian fragrances. I just think that they're so stunning and the quality is so amazing for the price. Um, so I also want to talk about the other one that I had. It was, I'll see if I can find a picture of it and insert it here. It was called, um, Darwa, I believe. And it was supposed to be like a... And it was. It was a very complex oud fragrance. It had tons of like spices and fruits and it had a ton of notes in it, but that one just came off on my skin as very, very masculine. It smelled like a very masculine oud fragrance. Um, I would have hung on to it to ha give to my husband, um, but my husband does not enjoy oud, unfortunately, so I went ahead and just resold that one. But it again, even though that uh, fragrance didn't work for me personally, the quality was stunning. The quality was just outstanding. So yeah, these fragrances are so good. I think that if anything from this house kind of piques your interest, I would definitely say go for it because of the five that I have tried so far, I have not had a single um bad experience with this house at all. I just think that they're really, really beautiful. And those two that I got from Amazon, oh my gosh, I mean, just, they're stunning fragrances. So anyways, guys, that's my little kind of, um, introduction, I should say, to the Swiss Arabian house. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.